Hello viewers, it's Hussein Zaidi from, uh, from sales and marketing for you.com, separated by hyphens. I'm reading this marvelous book that I want to share with you. It's called Market Driven Strategy, Processes for Creating Value, George S. Day. Um, you can tell it's a library book, although I picked it up somewhere else. Um, this is not a recent book, but it's what I would consider a classic text. Um, he quotes people like Drucker and whatnot. You can see the date there is uh, 1990. Um, and then he talks about you know markets, market-driven strategies, things of that nature. So this is, this is really how you stay on top of your game. Positioning, choosing arenas, you know, where are you going to do battle in the market? renewing your strategy so the whole book is about strategy you know given that you know uh, the arguments for a new perspective on competitive strategies remains compelling old ways of given that old ways of competing and much of the conventional wisdom about organizations are being overturned by convergence of forces you know fragmenting markets technology you know more savvy customers etc given all of that what are companies meant to do today so what I have in mind to show you is uh, basically a blueprint for success in today's world and it's something that I'm writing out myself in order to to learn so we've got four areas that we're focused on um, advantage which is your competitive advantage because remember that your business basically is about serving your customer as well as innovating and staying ahead of your competition those are the two driving forces you want to kick your competitors butt and you want to serve the heck out of your customer to delight him not just satisfy him you want him to be like wow this is the most amazing thing since sliced bread so your advantage consists of your generic strategy emphasis target competitors and positioning theme programs and projects so basically what are you doing to kick your customers butt activities these are more like general marketing activities alliances and then you make sure that you've got the appropriate scope and scale you know are you going to advertise at a football game are you going to put flyers up at your local supermarket scope and scale reach you know the same kind of things that we see in advertising you can read a lot of my articles on advertising if you just click on the left toolbar there uh, the menu you'll see uh, a link for advertising and uh, some of the themes that I talk about there and in marketing communications uh, you'll see another uh, button for marketing communications I talk about reach you know so you can reach a, a lot of people with a in a shallow way or you can reach a handful of people in a in a deep and more meaningful way so scope and scale access is very very crucial in my mind ownership and control of channels so the variety of channels that's that's a given everyone knows about channels and communications mix but what is this ownership and control of channels if you click on the left hand side on social it will take you to my social media marketing section which talks about how social media is a platform or a channel which is owned by users it's not owned by companies like GE that do a lot of social media marketing now they're savvy to the fact that the customer controls the conversation and they are just trying to have a conversation with their customer but what this fellow is saying prior to social media marketing by the way in 1990 is that you need to own the channel if you are paying for advertising in a TV show and the TV producer the show producer says hey you're not allowed to say such and such a thing and it dilutes your message then is that worth as much you know are you gonna get as much of a bang for your buck probably not last but not least the arena that you're gonna do battle in what's your business definition what are you in business for what's your 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 aim your focus in life and in your business and they should be the same thing quite frankly served markets that means places we're doing business and then target segments so once again at the end of the day what you have hmm, what you have is a situation of wanting to stay ahead of the competition which is being good or being excellent just to be better than the other guy and then obviously serving your customer and what that's about is being good because you want to serve humanity and that's all there is to it folks and so signing out for now thanks for tuning in stay tuned for more videos I mean I've got a couple of these floating around and I'm going to be putting up more and more of these over time because definitely you know it's a good way to communicate with people and you know get get across a lot of thoughts in a little uh, period of time 
All right, talk to you soon, and uh, make sure that you uh, click and read on plenty of articles and subscribe to my easy. Thank you.